If you wanted to create a wheel of a car or a, a gear for a machine, you would need to create individual teeth or tire treads all along um, an axis around the wheel. Now you could individually draw each and every gear tooth or tire tread, but a much faster way to do that with more consistency is to use the circular pattern. So for this demonstration, we're going to create a gear. The first thing that we want to do is draw the object that we will be copying around the axis of the gear. To do that, let's just draw a quick sketch on one of the faces of the object. Now you probably noticed that I didn't line up the gear tooth with the center of the gear. If I wanted to create the whole tooth of the gear from the sketch, I could have drawn a line out from the center and calculated what one half of the width of the tooth would be and sketch around that, but I found that it's much easier to create one half of the tooth and then use the mirror pattern to create the whole tooth. And to do that, what we can do is go up to pattern, mirror, and it'll prompt you to click on the solid that you want to mirror. So with the whole object selected, click the one half of the gear tooth, click on mirror plane, and then select the plane that would be in between the object that you already have and the object that you want to create. Hit enter to confirm, and there you have a whole gear tooth. And because the two objects were touching now, they are actually considered one object. So to copy this around the, uh, around the diameter of the gear body, we're going to go to Pattern, Circular Pattern. The solid that we want to copy around the axis of the gear is the gear tooth. With the whole object highlighted, select the gear tooth. And for the axis, um, you could do it either by creating a line that goes uh, along the center of the gear body, but because we already have the object, we have a circle that we can use as the axis. So with the axis selected, click on one of the edges of the gear, and you'll see that it selects that as the central axis. So there's a couple ways that you can go about it. If you know how many gear teeth that you want, and you already know that you want this size of gear tooth and this distance away from each other, and it, it ends up being this many gear teeth, you can use this to add more teeth around the gear. Now the other way that you can do it is select the solid, select the axis, and right here you can see that you could either select full or angle. Now what angle does is if you click on this arrow right here that uh, is along the, the selection path, it'll ask you to input an angle for which the objects will be copied along. So we want it to be all around the gear, so we're going to type in 360. But if we want to do something else, we could do just as easily 25, and it'll fit those three that we have selected around the gear. But for this, we're just going to choose 360. And the number of gears we want can be controlled by using this right here, by sliding it along the circle or we could just enter them in right here. By using both the mirror pattern and the circular pattern, we we're able to create this gear and copy these, these objects around a circle. This saves a ton of time, especially when you're uh, working with an object that has multiple features, and all you would have to do is create one small part and you are all pretty much already done could be used for both aesthetics if you wanted to create some kind of uh, some kind of art project with uh, machine parts or if you wanted it to be completely functional you can use this as well when I, in one of my engineering courses we actually use this to print out gears for a 3d printer so give this one a try and if you have any questions or requests for a video let me know in the comments